Good. Ideas ready. Sweet. All right. So all they're asking us to do is they say find the cosine of 225 degrees minus 30 degrees. So we need to make sure we apply uh, the difference formula for cosine, which states the cosine of u minus v is equal to the cosine of your angle u times the cosine of your angle v plus the sine of your angle u times the sine of your angle v. So simply what we're going to do is just say, all right, well, here's our u and here's our v. right? But now what we need to do is we need to evaluate, before we can even plug it into the formula, we need to evaluate what's the cosine and the sine for those two angles. So we're going to want to go back over to our unit circle and let's plot, see how bad this marker is? Let's go and plot our two, our angles here. So we have 30 degrees, which is going to be here. See, that marker guys, I'm telling you. Okay, so we have 30 degrees, right? Angle is 30 degrees. Notice, remember guys, this is a difference formula, so it's one angle minus another angle, but the angle we're looking at is 30 degrees. So for this angle, our coordinate point is square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. Everybody agrees with me? So therefore, I can say that the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2. The sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. All right, so I've just evaluated, because you notice in the formula, you have to figure out what cosine and sine are for both, the, both of the problems, right? Now let's go and look at 225 degrees. Well, 225 degrees is going to be over 180 plus 45 degrees. So that is 225 degrees. Well, the coordinate point there is negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, you can say the cosine of 225 degrees is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2, and the sine of 225 degrees is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Does everybody follow me so far what I did? Because reality, this is all this is all this stuff that we've already worked on and done before. We're just evaluating for our angles that we're given. Now, what we're simply going to do is plug in our values into our formula. So the cosine of u, which is cosine of 225 degrees, that's going to be a negative square root of 2 over 2 times the cosine of v, which is 30 degrees. So the cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. Multiply plus the sine of u, which is 225 degrees, which is a negative square root of 2 over 2, and then times that by the sine of v, which is 30 degrees, which is 1 half. OK? No? Question? No? All I did was I found my angles for each angle, and then I'm just plugging them in. Now I'm going to multiply. So square root of negative 2 times square root of negative 3 or negative square root of 2 times square root of 3 is going to be a negative square root of 6 over 4. And then this is negative square root of 2 times 1 is going to be a negative square root of 2. So it's going to be negative square root of 2 over 4. Now, to simplify the problem, we notice what these two, what they have in common. And you can notice that they both, we can factor out a square root of 2 in the numerator and a 4 in the denominator. And I'm going to factor out a negative square root of 2 over 4. That's going to leave me with a positive square root of 3 plus 1. OK. Questions? And that's it. And there will be your final, finalized answer.